Good morning, Facebook. Grace and peace to you all. Today, um, I have studied idolatry for quite a few years now. And over the last couple days, God has made it so clear to me. Um, and if you think of what the breakdown in humanity is, why we struggle the way that we do, it stems from this one thing, from idolatry. And the simplicity of idolatry is when God says, you will have no other gods before me, right? We make these small gods in our life and we worship and love those things rather than... So we worship creation rather than the creator of the creation. And that's where everything gets fractured. That's where we struggle. That's why we struggle the way that we do. What are the gods in your life? What are the small gods that you worship more more than the creator of all things? And um, for me, I've had a lot of different things in my life that I've worshipped. I worshipped pleasure. I worshipped sex. I've worshipped um, trying to perform and to be the best I possibly can be because I'm lacking trying to fill a void instead of being his and allowing him to fill those needs. And once he does, now I'm no longer lacking trying to fill a void. Now I can truly just be an expression of the love, grace, and mercy that I've received as a child. In humanity, hum humanity works best when we are in the right order. Creator, creation, right? And so we worship and we love our Creator, and then we're able, He opens our eyes to see things from a healthy perspective rather than a fractured, broken perspective. He gives us over to what we choose to go after, the small gods in our life, but it doesn't work. When we think that, man, I'm going to go after that relationship, and if I get that relationship, then I'll be made complete, then I'll be made whole. If I get that job, if I have success in that job, then I'll feel like I'm complete and whole. But you're still the same fractured human being that you are. You've just happened to have success in a certain area. And that's where I think when that idolatry of what are the idols in your life? You know, what we thought of idolatry as far as the old covenant, it was, you know, making golden images of certain things. But they were making golden images of certain things in order to receive the fertility god or the god of, you know, you name it. They created these things instead of worshiping the true god, right? You will have no other gods before me. That is where the root problem begins in our life is that we're worshiping something other than the creator of all things. But he's saying, come to me all who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. He came to give us rest. He came to reconcile us into that right relationship with God through his love, through his sacrifice, self-sacrificial love of the beauty of what Christ did to restore us and make us whole, make us complete. When we are simply his, that's the simplicity of it, that we are fractured and he came to restore. He came to love. He came to make us whole. All it is is reordering your life and, and becoming, you know, look at all the other Ten Commandments, right, after the one of having no other gods before me are because they have other gods before him, right? That's the reality of it. Without, with that one being kept, the others don't take place. Um, you know, you aren't going to covet your neighbor's wife if you are secure, you're whole, you're complete. You're not going to. You're not going to murder. You're not going to slander. You're not going to have hate in your heart because you are full. You are complete because he's filled you. He's loved you. He's cleansed you. He's made you whole. It's about being his. Just come to him. Come to me all who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. He's going to give us rest at the, at the deepest level so we're no longer longing. No, we're no longer searching for that love and acceptance. We've experienced it because we are now in right order with God. May you experience that today. I Hopefully, I was able to convey this in a simple way that if your life isn't whole and complete, come back to the source, come back to the Creator, and worship the Creator, not just the creation. 
It's so much more beautiful than when we can do that and we can experience his wholeness in our life. No, we're no longer insecure. We're no longer bitter and angry and resentful. Instead, it's been replaced with the fruit of the Spirit where we are. We have peace and we have joy and we have love and we have patience and we have kindness and we have self-control because our root is right. Being rooted in the right place gives us that freedom. May you experience that today. I love y'all.